Well, Keegan, firstly, congratulations, the, the qualifiers. I mean, did you ever imagine it when you started off first game of the season? No, no, we just concentrated on that, that opening fixture against Lee and uh, all our effort went into that and, you know, we got that win, which I don't think anyone were expecting. We had a tough four opening fixtures and I think we knocked three off. And by the time we were halfway through the season, we were in, we were in top four and we are starting to, to think we could do something. So it's... Uh, it's been a bit. It's been a bumpy ride, uh, but but we've we've got there, and it's it's over 23 weeks, so we're there on merit. The pressure, I imagine, the last couple of weeks must have been intense, given that you put so much in to get there, and it was there, but you weren't quite guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, when it got to the last three fixtures, we had Featherstone at home and and the Thumpters at home, and it really deflated us, and you start doubting yourself. But we we picked ourselves up, dusted ourselves off, and we, and we beat a, a good a good London team and. And suddenly then we'd, we had to go to Swinton to get a win, and which we knew was going to be tough to beat us at home. There's only Swinton and Featherston who have beat us at home, so it was, we knew they were no mugs. And, but we went over there and we put in a real good performance and got a good win. What was it like? We've seen the celebrations after the team song and everything. I'm surprised you, you lads are out of the pub now. I thought you'd still be celebrating. Yeah, I've just about sobered up. So <laughs> No, yeah, we've, we've celebrated, but it's... Um, it's, it's 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 a job done. It's a bit of a relief, to be honest, that it's that we've got in that top four. We've, as like you say, that pressure you start putting, um, there's a lot of expectation on you. And, uh, but our season's not done now. We want we, we don't want to just make up numbers when we when we go to to play in these qualifiers, and we, we're going to give us give a good go of ourselves. I'm going to say that's it. That's it. It's not job done. Is it starts now, doesn't it? And I guess the intensity now goes up even more. Yeah, I mean, uh, as we got to end it. End of season, John talks about it being a bit like a playoff system, and you need to be winning, uh, and it, and that's where it is now. I mean, it, th that intensity really is going to go up. When I mean, our first fixtures all okay are, and you know, we've got NRL players and, and things like that in there. So it's it's a far cry from from some games we've we've been involved with this. And I mean, there's no easy championship games, but there's certainly no easy games in in them qualifiers. So we'll just have to get our heads down and, and really give give us try and give as good as we get. And I guess for you, a chance to pick your wits against some big players. When you think about who's in that, uh, who's in that ace with you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's some, like you said, there's some big names in there. I mean, we, um, as a team, we had, we had a, gave a decent account of ourselves against a good Catalan team, and I think we'll um, we'll take heart from that, and we'll, we'll we'll be looking to to emulate that. But doing it week in week out is is a bit different to a one-off cup game. So I think uh, we'll notice the intensity go up a lot, and. Um, and, and yeah, we'll we'll just have to have a real real good dig, won't we? And a word for John Keir. I think a lot of people, when they heard he was moving on into the year, thought, oh, the wheels might come off, but they didn't, did they? No, they didn't. He um, he was up front with us, told us what was going on, and and we were, um, you know, we, he's all he's all he, that's kind of bloke. He's an honest bloke, and and the the club moved pretty quick and got uh, Matt Diskin in for next year. So so players were were settled. They knew what were happening, and and we were we were told that everything that was going on and. Um, and I think we appreciated that, and that's why we could concentrate on playing rugby, and uh, and, it, and it really helped. Because, like you say, it could, wheels could have come off. And a word for the people behind the scenes that have kept the club going through some tough times. It has to be said in the yeah. past. It's, um, I think this this season, this getting in top four is, you know, the financial reward for the club, and it it'll help. it's a real reward to the people behind the scenes. You, t you know, you hear you hear about clubs going bust all the time, going into administration and and battles. It's, it should be um, something that clubs try to emulate because they're well run and, and the people behind the scenes work really hard and, and I think that's it, this season is testament to them. It's not it's not just the players and the coaching staff. It's everyone at the club. And a word for you personally. Can you believe the last 18 months of your life, how it's all gone and, and where you are now? No, it's, uh, it's 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 been really good. It's you hear about um, you know Robbie Rogers comes out and and, and retires from football. And, Gareth Thomas, you know, got some stick, didn't he, when he when he, when he played league? But mine's been, a, I suppose, a bit of a success story. Really, I've come out of, I've probably had one of my best seasons personally. The club's had a real good season, um, and it's it has, yeah, it's a bit of a success story. So it's it's nice to get some for some po positive publicity. Uh, and just, I've been taught to ask you about it about celebrity first date. What's this all about? <laughs> yeah, I rocked up uh, on, on uh, celebrity first dates. Yeah, it was uh, it was an experience. <laughs> it was it, it it was a good laugh, you know. I had a laugh. It was just a, a bit of fun on TV. Yeah, it was. 
I got a bit of stick at training for it. <laughs> I guess, yeah, good stuff. Uh, and just like you said, the message is it's onwards and upwards now from here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to have a good go and um, get our heads down. It's, there's only seven weeks left, um, maybe eight for getting that million pound game. And um, yeah, we, we just, everyone's just really looking forward to it. And, um, and, and I don't think we'll, we'll get embarrassed, so we're looking forward to it.